One of the things that I wanted to, to highlight about her, her story was some of the challenges that she had. Is this, is this the, the, like, for example, the, the challenge she had with her boss? I, I don't yes. Know. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So she and was. That's why I liked CFOs like those who opened up and told. Because one question I asked is, you know, what's what's the worst day that you have? And she ah. says, she talks about, um, and and this is good for your students because they need to know how hectic it can be when you become an accountant. Mm. How your IQ is important because that's the one thing that we keep thinking about when you're students. You keep thinking, is my IQ sufficient to qualify? Is my IQ sufficient to become successful and so on? Then you realize IQ is part of it, but EQ, emotional uh, quotient is is sometimes even more important. You know, how you handle people and how you handle situations is what's going to take you to the next level. So she about this boss who they had worked the whole night and he was at home, right? And they call him in the morning and say, this thing is not balancing. You know, it's not balancing and they, she's hoping for him to tell her, you know, oh, no, it's fine. I'm going to come in and help you or, oh, no, we'll just send the report and we'll tell them that we are still working on it. And the guy was just brutal. And he was just like. Was the comment, the, he was like, he laughed at her. He What's laughed at her. So exactly. He's like, do you He's not just, understand what I'm saying? He just laughed. Like. Okay, so wait, what are you what are you hoping? Do you think I'm going to tell investors that we have a balance sheet that doesn't balance? Make sure. Thinking, go back, get it done. It, yeah. up, you know, yes. and she sat in the car and cried because she I did. love I love that as well. And there's there's a few of those that I that I picked up. And again, I wanted to kind of highlight that is that when you're on the outside and you're looking at people in you know these kind of roles. In a way, because they kind of have to, they kind of look like they got everything together and they're in control. Yeah, but yeah. this, again, the behind the scenes is like, I love the fact that she said, I went and sat in my car and cried because and cried. I had no idea what to do. Exactly. You know? And she's like, I didn't want to cry in front of the team because I didn't want the team to know that, yo, we are in, we're in trouble is. to keep yeah. this face. Like, guys, we are going to do this. It's going to work. Don't worry. So if you need a moment, take some time out. Yeah. Go the car cried out you know and then all right i'm good let me gather myself and then go back yeah. and then yeah. let's and then, i mean that worked you know take some time out she went back in they you know had some re looked at it from a fresh point of view and got the got yeah. the job done i enjoyed the honesty and i think um no matter what level you are where you are how qualified you are there will be challenges that you're not prepared for. You know, mm-hmm. Again, for example, and obviously a couple of, because of the timing that you wrote mm-hmm. this, quite a few of the challenges are COVID related. Mm-hmm. There's no textbook yeah. you know, that told us how to deal, told any yeah. CFO how to deal with a global pandemic. Like this was not yeah. in the textbook. This was not in my question. Correct. Yet, they're responsible and have to come up with that. And it's something that I tell my students is like, you think that once your exams are over and you're qualified, you're going to have the answers to everything and everything is going to be calm and easy. And you're going to be like, sweet, I'm the guy, you know, I'm the girl who knows what's going on. Like, let me tell you, as you progress, the challenges get worse. And then you're, and that was also something that she mentioned that I loved is like, when you're the director, when you're the dude or the girl at the top, everyone expects you to have the answer. And it's lonely, you know, because there is no textbook. And it's it's as bad. In fact, it's worse than writing exams. It is worse. It because is because there's no suggested solution. Nobody's yeah. marking you, and you don't get yeah. to come back and try again next year. Yeah, 